All right, everybody, welcome. Today we have a very, very special treat. We have Paul Taranjo from uh, Kowike Seafood, and he is going to show us how to break down a king salmon. Now, this guy breaks... How many king salmon do you break down a day? Oh, quite a few. Quite a few. That means at least 5,000, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Paul's going to show us how to break down a salmon. Paul, why don't you grab one of these bad boys out of this case here? Okay. So king what do we salmon. got here? We got a beautiful king salmon. This time of year, it's a gillnet king salmon from the Penalt River. Okay. Uh, so they head off, they, they swim into the net, they get caught by the gills. Um, this is from the Penalt River. What we would in the industry, we call an 18 up. There's 11, 18, the kind of size range. Like gotcha. So it's 18 pounds and more. So if you can catch one of these, you're pretty, you're pretty stellar fisherman, right? Oh. <clears throat> First we just uh, So what he did first was just top off the, the top there. Okay. And come down by the, the bottom fin. Got it, okay. Slicing that bottom fin open a little bit. Now lift up the spine. Slide it down. Pull down so that you're on top of that mount. Oh look at that! So, so the next, the next side is actually harder, isn't it? Because it's kind of a doppelganger. You don't have the other side to hold it down. Or actually, we're going to leave the fish just like this and take out the spine on its own. It's a very dull knife, just so you know. It's a very dull knife. Wow. Okay. You have your, your spine there. And this is great for uh, smoking or throwing on the grill and having your dog eat it, right? Scrape that. There's good meat for hamburgers. Um, oh yeah. This is really good on the barbecue. Oh yeah, the collars are wonderful on the barbecue. Absolutely wonderful. And these are good too. You know, you can just get on there and just chew on it like a cat. Just by running the knife down the ribs, should come out no problem. What a beautiful fish. There's a, a bag, the dorsal fin here. Okay. We'll just take that off. Wow. And the same thing on the other side. Again with the, the collar cut. Take that collar piece off. Now you see he's wearing gloves the too. There. Got it. We call these the knuckles. The knuckles. Knuckles? Knuckles. Have you ever cut yourself? Uh, quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Right. I didn't bring my pliers, but uh, in here are the pin bones. Each one of these can be pulled out with a plier. And you guys have a machine that does that, don't you? No, we do all like Wow. Each, each little bit of it's pretty amazing. Most 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 uh, fish processing, they have this machine that just goes <laughs> and takes them all out. But Paul here from Koike Seafoods actually does all yeah. of them by hand. That way, you, or, or you make your you right less, right? less separation of the meat. Uh, the chef has a better time. <laughs> yeah, because the, the machine's kind of pulled straight up. And, he, and he, when he pulls, he kind of pulls at an angle here, so it goes with the flesh, so the bone just comes right out. Yeah. Are you going to skin this bad boy for us, or what? Now, skinning is, uh, some people prefer the skin on their fish. I prefer it. If I'm catching my own fish, I like to keep the skin on there, because I like all the back fat. It gives a lot of flavor. But, you know, if, if you're searing a piece of fish, and, and people don't like that back fat area, then you can, you can skin it. Laying the knife in by the skin, grab hold of the skin. So most of his work, when he did that, he had his hand on the skin, and he was actually pulling the skin and holding the knife. So he's doing this. He wasn't doing this. He was this. So most of his most of his leverage for skinning that was actually from pulling the tail. Well, great. I wish we had another one to see how fast you could break one of these bad boys down. <laughs> See that? Just pulls and see his arm pull back? There you go. He almost cut, he almost cut the camera yeah. in. Hopefully it's clean. Make a pair of boots. That's pretty clean, yeah. You can make a belt out of that or a nice wallet. All right. Paul from Kuwaiti Seafood, cutting down salmon. Nice work, Paul. Thank you.